Hello my friends and welcome. I did this page over a long period of time, so please forgive me if I missed filming certain parts of the process for this art journal page. I'm using the illusion stamps, stencils, inks and paint. Starting off with a big cup of coffee and all my dilutions paints because I intend to make jelly prints that will become my background. To make my jelly prints I brought out all my dilution stencils and if I could choose just one crafting supply I think I would choose stencils. They are so versatile and don't cost a lot of money. I also bring out my big jelly plate. I start with black marble shimmer paint and I prayer it on like a frame around the edges. I put a cobweb stencil over top and then I put copy paper over the stencil and rub with my fingers to pick up the paint in the negative spaces around the cobwebs. Next I bring out a stencil called Corchester and shimmer paint in crushed grapes and I stencil on the pattern over the dry cobwebs pattern around the edges as well. When the purple pattern is dry I bring out many blue paints, some with shimmer and some without and I brayer on the paint in rows starting at the top with the darkest after midnight, followed by London blue shimmer paint, vibrant turquoise and blue Hawaiian neon paint. And at the bottom I bray on cut grass and polished jade shimmer paint. Before I pull this print I bring out white linen paint and bray on a thin coat. And then I put a piece of paper over top and rub it with my fingers to get all that yummy paint to transfer onto my paper and then I pull a print. Next I have a dark red paint called pomegranate seeds and a stencil with flower shapes and I stencil in lots of dark red flowers around the edges and let it dry. I have this beautiful stencil with letters and funky fuchsia dark pink paint and I stencil in those letters over the dry flowers and let the paint dry again. Next I want an ombre look so I start at the bottom with lemon drop yellow paint followed by mango punch, tangerine dreams shimmer paint, tropical sangria pink and bubblegum pink shimmer paint. I give this print a thin coat of white paint, rub with my fingers and pull a print. And since I have some white areas on both prints, I bray on some paint onto the plate and pick it up with the print on those white patches. And I end up with two lovely prints. One of my favorite dilution stamp set is this mushroom stamp set. I didn't catch the stamping on camera, but I intend to use dilution ink to color the mushrooms in cool colors, starting with desert sand ink for the mushroom stems. On this mushroom I continue with two green inks in mushy peas and chopped pesto for shadows. For this little cute trio I used fresh lime and polished jade. I color many mushrooms in those two green combos and a blue combo with Blue Lagoon, London Blue and After Midnight. Next I have these lovely stamp sets with teacups and teapots and I decide to color those images in warm colors but I run into trouble when some of my ink filled brushes stop working and release big blobs of ink making it impossible to color. If any one of you has run into these problems I would love to know how you handled it. I just put ink on my surface and use the regular brush to pick up ink and color. For this cup I used Rose Quartz, Pink Flamingo, Tangerine Dream and Pure Sunshine. 
For the rest of the cups and pots I use those colors of ink as well as funky fuchsia and crushed grapes and I use those inks in different combos throughout the coloring. When I post this video I will be on my way home from a short vacation to Stockholm. I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope you too are having a great weekend with sun on your face or at least some lovely crafty time. To complete the images I want feet and I have two stamp sets that have feet in fabulous shoes so I stamp and color them the same way as the teacups and pots. I made a background a while ago that I love and I intend to recreate it with these jelly prints and old book pages. I tear both book pages and jelly prints into pieces. When I have a pile of torn pieces I use archival black soot ink to darken the edges of the jelly print pieces and vintage photo distress ink to darken the edges of the book page pieces. I'm using distress collage medium to glue down and seal the pieces of book pages and I fill the whole page with those torn pieces and then I lost some footage of how I glue the jelly print pieces down but you can see in the finished pictures how I glue them down so the book pages peek through. I always struggle with sentiments but this time I will use these snarky sentiments to ground my other images so I stamp and heat emboss all the sentiments in this dilution stamp set with WOW's clear matte doll embossing powder. I cut my sentiments into strips and then I start gluing those strips on my background trying to create different heights for my images to stand on. Off camera I glue mushrooms popping up from teacups and a teapot. I also give the cups and pot feet. And finally I put foam tape behind my walking tea party and glue them on the snarky comments like a tea party and mushroom parade. As I glue down my last teacup mushroom this Dilutions Mixed Media Art Journal page is finished and I hope you enjoyed this somewhat pieced together video. As always I will see you all soon in the next video. Until that time, happy crafting!